Hey guys, so some of you might want to know why these cards on the screen have been purchased and it was an experiment and maybe I should have laid out the experiment before. I wanted to target a set and a card in particular that had no ability to be played or no casual appeal, none of that stuff. So when I first started, um, I picked the Koshin Falls, but that was a mistake because it turns out that is actually played in Pillow Fort. So Pillow Fort plays it as, you know, a one of an EDH and people actually enjoy the card. So it started at like a dollar fifty, so it wasn't a bulk card. So the price spike might have been it went up a little bit. I went I think doubled or tripled in price. The price spike may have been to actual demand. Now all these cards are on the reserve list. So the next one I went to was Norway. Uh, Norwhale is something that I thought no one was going to play, but I did not realize there was a popular YouTube video, which you should go check out. It's actually very catchy, and I watch it a few a few times. I'm not ashamed to say that because it's extremely catchy. And I realized people just like Norwhales, and that might be casual appeal. So my last one, I had to pick something that had no appeal whatsoever, and it was Temerian Fiends. So the first line of that card reads remove Tamarian fiends from your deck before playing if not playing for anti and we cannot play for anti because that's illegal gambling so this card can literally see no play no one wants it no one can play it it's a best you know it's not Coshin falls which sees some play it's not Norway, which where people be like oh it's a cute little Norway. no this is the ideal card to test my um, experiment whether or not a card with no playability, no casual appeal can be just because it's on the reserve list and that's the only reason the price goes up. And the, the answer to that question is yes, being on the reserve list by itself with no casual appeal, no playability is enough.